Hi guys, I'm Kev from Sons of Cain and with me as usual is Chris and today we've got... We're going to have 10 unusual facts you may or may not know about your walking stick. Don't forget to subscribe for videos each week and push the notification bell which will give you an email when we post new content. New content is posted on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Number 10. The term came for a walking stick was introduced in the reign of Henry VIII. This was reference to the exotic woods for, for the manufacture of walking sticks which were being introduced from the New World. Henry VIII himself had an extensive collection of walking sticks as did George Washington and Winston Churchill. Number 9. The cane began as a necessity of a tool for travellers and shepherds for protecting themselves and their livestock. Number 8. The cane became a symbol of power for the Egyptians and varied in length from 3 to 6 foot in length and were highly decorated. The Egyptian cane showed the person's occupation and position in life. The tomb of Tutankhamun had over 130 canes inside. Number 7. During the Middle Ages, the cane became a symbol of power in Europe. The royals carried a cane in the right hand, whilst the left hand was for justice. A bishop carried a crook cane to represent drawing his flock to church, just like a shepherd. Number 6. By the 1600s it became fashionable for men to carry canes and a set of rules and etiquette was produced. By the 1700s a licence was required in London for a cane to be carried. Rules included a cane was not to be carried under the arm, was not to be lent on or brandished, nor to be hung from a button. It also became popular for Puritans to carry an oak cane at this time. Number 5 In the USA it became popular for presidents to carry canes and quite often received them as a gift. During the American Civil War, canes were often presented instead of medals. Number 4 In 1921 in Bristol, James Biggs claimed to have invented the white cane after losing his sight and feeling threatened by traffic. This began the White Crave movement, which started in America in 1934, but it began to view the cane as a disability aid rather than a walking aid. Number 3 Canes were also carried as a symbol of wealth and status throughout the world, and held a requirement to be changed according to the time of day and your attire. This stemmed from the idea of king's scepters. It also became a replacement for the sword. Number 2 Xylophobia is a fear of sticks, while a rubologist is the lover of walking sticks. Number 1 Though canes are now seen for being for the elderly or the infirm, all religious texts throughout the world refer to the cane as a symbol of office and dignity. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you like these facts. Uh, again, it's the first time we've ever done this. If you want to see some more, drop us a line down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, drop us a nice comment, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. If you like the video, please share it. As always, ring the bell for notifications. Free the fear.